Hi! In this tutorial, we're going to look at how the extraction operator and the getLine function handles keyboard input and also how the CN object allocates data into memory. We're also going to look at how to use the CN ignore function to remove characters from the input stream. So I have a simple program here where I want to get some information from the user, so I'm going to use a string for player name and favorite food, and I'm also going to get their age. And I have it set up to get the values from the user from the keyboard. So I have a CN for player name, a CN for their age, and a CN for their favorite food, and then a C out statement that's going to display all of this to the screen. So now when I go to run this, Okay, my build succeeds, and so I go to put in my name, and then I press enter, and I can put in a age and a favorite food. Okay, and this all works fine. So now I'm going to run this again, but what happens if I put in my full name, my first name, and my last name? All right, so if I put in Prof. Gustin, then my program starts to go haywire, and it doesn't recognize or continue on with any of this other. So why would that be? Why would all of a sudden putting in something with a space in here have an impact on the program? So you may have realized in my code I don't have this string header file included in here. So let's see if that makes a difference. So I've added the string header file. Let's run it again. And again this time I'm going to put in a name with a space in it, and that didn't fix it. So what the issue is, is when we use CN, CN is going to get all the information in up until the first white space character. So what's happening is, let me bring this up here so it's closer to this CN part. So if I'm typing in a name here and it has a space, then it's actually taking this first part up until the white space character and assigning that to player name. The rest of this information, this part, is still held in the input stream. So when it gets to CN age, it's still using the remainder of the information that is in the CN object. So since it thinks there's still stuff in there, it doesn't wait and stop to get it from the keyboard, and so that's why it continues in here. And then what is your favorite food? There's still actually something else that's still hanging in the input stream, and so it doesn't bother to stop and ask for that. So how can we deal with that? What can we do to fix that? Well, that's what this video is going to be all about. So one thing we can do is when we're getting string information, we can use the getLine function. The getLine function will change the way the CN gets input from the keyboard. So I'm going to, with my string here for player name, I'm going to use getLine and CN player name. And this is just a little bit different here. Instead of the input stream operator, we use a comma to get the player name. I'm going to do the same thing down here for favorite food because maybe they have a food like egg rolls that would have a space in it. So since we can't always control or guarantee the input that the user's putting in when we get to a string, we will use the get line so that it will consume everything up to the new line character. Okay, so let's see how that works. So let me run this. So what is your name? And I'll put in Prof. Gustin. Okay, progress. So now it says, what is your age? And now we get to, what is your favorite food? And now it's kind of doing the same thing it was before, continuing on without giving us the option to enter in our favorite food. So let's take a look. Here we're asking the user to put in their name. And so we have get line which is going to allow the user to enter text 
up until the new line has been entered or until enter has been pressed. So at this point, the getLine function checks the CN object to see whether it contains any characters. Now at this point, the CN object is empty, nothing has been put into it, so the getLine function will stop and wait for the user to enter the name. So the user types in, in this case I typed in Prof Gustin, and pressed enter. And so the computer takes the string and the new line character. This is the key thing here. The computer takes the new line character, which is a backslash n, and puts it into the cn object. Then it alerts the getLine function that the object now has data. And so the getLine function removes the string and the new line character from the cn object, and it stores the name information entered into the variable and then it consumes or it discards the new line character. So then when it gets down to this next question where we're inputting the age, again it's CN age is going to check the CN object to determine whether it has any content, whether there's any characters in there. So right now the object is empty because it was all consumed by the getLine function. So the user enters a number and then they press enter to indicate that they're finished entering the age. So now the computer takes the number that was entered and the new line character and that gets stored into the CN object and it alerts the extraction operator that the object now contains data. So then the extraction operator takes the number from the CN object and stores it in the age variable. But it leaves the new line character in the CN object. So it doesn't take the new line character there. So then when it gets to this get line statement, right, each time we're calling CN, it's going to check to see whether the CN object has any data. So that new line character from pressing enter here is still stored in the CN. And so since it still thinks there's content in CN, that actually gets assigned to favorite food, so it doesn't stop and wait for the user to enter anything and then continues on down. So that's exactly what's happening here. It's outputting what is your favorite food. It still thinks that there's something in here which is the new line character left over from age and so that new line character actually becomes favorite food and then it just prints out the rest of this content. So how do we fix this? Well in C++ there is the ignore function and we can use the ignore function to read in and then ignore characters stored in the CN object. So the function ignores characters by consuming or discarding them. So after we get our age in here, remember there's still a new line character that is being stored in the CN object. So what we want to do is we want to say CN ignore. Now inside the parentheses for the ignore function, we do have arguments that we can specify in there. And we'll look at those arguments in a second. But let's just see what happens if we just say to CN ignore to our program. So let's run this again. I'm going to make sure I put in my name, my age, and favorite food. So this time it did stop and ask for my favorite food and then it output the content to the screen. So when we got to see and ignore here, the default, if we don't put anything inside here for an argument, the default is to ignore one character and in this case the one character is the new line character or the backslash n. So this works and we only have the backslash n in here but just to show you some other things for C and ignore in case uh, you need to use it for other things we could specify just a number value to read and consume or consuming meaning discarding to read and discard five characters. So if there's more things in there than the new line character, then it would discard them. 
another option for the arguments in there, we can have the number of characters and we can put a comma in here and then we can have a delimiter character. The delimiter character is, okay, what do we want it to recognize and then discard up until it finds that particular character. So let's say we wanted a new line character. We can put in a single quote a backslash n which is for new line. So what this would translate to is to ignore five characters or until it gets to a new line character. So you could do a, you know, a number value like this. If you're not sure, you could say something like 100 characters or up to the new line character. Or you might have the user entering information and tell them to put in a special symbol. So you could put in maybe something like a pound sign symbol. And in this case, what would happen is when it gets to the pound sign symbol, it's going to discard everything up to 100 characters or until it finds a pound sign symbol. So for our example, we really just need it to ignore and discard the new line character. So I'm just going to remove that out of there, which is the default for C in ignore. So that is using the extraction operator with the get line function and also using C in ignore to discard characters from the stream.